Hello and welcome to Easy Editing with Edius. My name is Frank Spangler and I'll be your instructor for these video tutorials. I've been working in video now for about 20 years and have uh, worked with a variety of different edit systems uh, including Avid Software and uh, Adobe Software. I made the switch to Edius about six years ago and have been doing most of my projects uh, using Edius uh, since that time. I'm really glad you're taking a look at Edius. I believe that you'll find it to be a very fast and easy program to pick up. There's a couple things that uh, people really notice when they migrate from other edit software and uh, that is uh, first of all they find that uh, Edius can take almost any type of video format that you want to throw at it and work with it on the same timeline and uh, that includes even the latest types of uh, file formats that some of the new cameras are recording to. They, they find that uh, the program that they've been working with, uh, you have to go and convert all of these uh, new file formats into the one or two formats that the system works with before, that they, before you can really start editing. Well, Edius will just take the native file formats, throw them on the timeline, and away you go. And uh, one of the other things that they really sit up and take notice at is that uh, these file formats without conversion actually play in real time without uh, any rendering. If you have a uh, fast enough computer, you'll find that there's very little, if any, rendering involved uh, when you work with Edius. Well, let's go ahead and get started. And uh, you do that by clicking on the Edius 6 icon on your desktop if you've installed the software. Now, if you're coming from a previous version of Edius, you will be presented uh, with a dialog box here that shows the last six to ten edit projects that you were working on. And in version 6.0, you're really only given two options, and that is to either open a project that you have worked on in the past or start a new project. We really do not recommend that you uh, try and open a project that you have uh, started in a previous version of Edius until you have taken care of a few housekeeping tasks. We want to clean out all of the uh, presets that may have uh, been carried over when you installed uh, Edius version 6 over top of uh, a previous version. We just want to make sure that you have a nice uh, clean version of Edius using uh, Edius version 6 presets. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, let's just start a new project. Click on the new project and you'll see that you are given a list of presets, probably presets that have once again been carried over from a previous version. Uh, and so we want to get rid of these. Now if you're working with uh, Edius 6 on a with a clean installation, say on a new computer, or you're running the trial software for the first time on your computer, you'll be working with a completely different dialog box, but we'll see that in a minute, so just hang in there. Let's just click on any one of these presets to start the program, and we'll show you how to uh, get rid of all of these old presets. Let's go into Settings and System Settings and go to project presets and let's just lasso all of these presets and hit delete and go ahead and hit yes and hit OK close the program and start it up once again and this time if you have come from a previous version of Edius you will still get your old projects but now when you go to start a new project you'll be presented with this dialog box, which is the same dialog box that uh, you are given if, if you are running the program for the first time. And what this dialog box really does is help you tell Edius the types of cameras that you're going to be working with and the types of frame rates that you have been shooting at. And this will help Edius uh, present you with a list of presets to get you started. And for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to go ahead and select one, uh, a high definition, as if we're working with a high definition camera. And because I'm in NTSC land, I'll choose the 59.94i because I shoot, I still shoot most of my projects in interlaced format. Uh, however, for the purposes of following along in this tutorial and uh, the tutorials to come, if you know that you have a high definition camera, in NTSC and you've been shooting at a, a progressive rate 
you might want to choose the 29.97p for progressive. And for most of our projects, 8-bit uh, is fine, so let's go ahead and select that and hit the next key, and you'll see that EDIUS has given us some presets to get started. Let's hit completed, and now we have uh, a list of five presets to get going. Now the first thing you'll want to do is give your project a name, so let's call it uh, testing video. And then if you like, you can change the uh, hard drive that your project will be saved to. If possible, we recommend uh, using something other than your system drive, your C drive. So I believe I have uh, another hard drive connected to this laptop. We'll go ahead and select that. And we'll make a new folder. Hit OK. And now we are saving our project to uh, a hard drive E in a folder called test video and our project name is testing video. Now if you are on a desktop computer and you have 10 hard drives in your system or attached to your system, what you'll want to do is pick the hard drive uh, that uh, is the fastest. Let's say you have a RAID system uh, attached to your computer. Well that's probably the uh, hard drive designation that you'll want to use because it'll probably be the fastest. However these days if you have a computer that has USB 3 connections and you have hard drives that are USB 3, uh, that's plenty fast as well. And that's what I have got going here to my laptop is a USB 3 hard drive attached to a USB 3 connection to my laptop computer. Okay, now which preset to start with? Well, for the purposes of this tutorial, it doesn't really matter. We can just use this high definition preset, the 1920 by 1080 at uh, 29.97 progressive. Now as you kind of highlight any one of these presets you'll see that your detailed description over here in your right hand box does change and as you look through this if you should notice that uh, those weren't quite the, the right settings for your camera or for how you want to set up your project you aren't stuck with the presets that EDIUS gives you. You can pick something that's the closest to what you're going to be working with and then you can customize and and you do that by checking the customize box hit OK and you'll be given a new dialog box where you can go in and uh, check out the advanced settings and let's say your camera doesn't have eight channels of audio and you want to change that to two well you can do that and um, well, let's say that you really want to have the render format to be the highest possible setting so we'll select Canopus HQ Fine, and, and uh, as you look through here, everything else looks uh, fairly good, and uh, so we can leave it. But I just want to point out that any customization that you do here under the customization box will not be remembered by EDIUS the next time you go to use the presets that they have defined for you. For the purposes of just getting started, you're fine working with these presets, but as you begin to work with EDIUS on an ongoing basis, eh, you will want to define your own unique settings that best represent and reflect your camera and the way you want the EDIUS project to be. And uh, we'll show you how to do that in another tutorial. I believe we have called that tutorial uh, How to Let's make sure we got the right name here under video tutorials. Under quick tips, at least that's what it's under now. Uh, yes, quick tips for EDIUS 6, creating project presets that EDIUS remembers. So as you begin to work with the program more and more, you'll want to check out that tutorial just so that you can learn how to define your own unique presets that EDIUS will remember. But for now, we can go ahead and just hit OK and EDIUS will start up. And uh, don't worry if uh, your windows look uh, quite a bit different than what I have got going here. Uh, in our next tutorial, we'll show you how to define your windows and uh, rearrange them to suit uh, a variety of different editing tasks. You can have one window here, or you can uh, change it to dual mode and have two windows. You can move your bin window across to open up your two window system a little better. And there's just a variety of different ways that you can define your windows and we'll show you how to do that in our next tutorial. 
But for now, just before we wrap up this tutorial, uh, just one last thing I want to point out that's quite important, and that is you need to remember each time you open a new project, the first thing you really need to do is save your project once. Once you save your project once, EDIUS will begin the process of the auto sequential backup so that if you should ever have a power failure or your system should somehow cease to function, uh, EDIUS will uh, you'll only lose about five minutes at the most because EDIUS does this uh, auto save in the background. But until you save that project once, EDIUS will not start that backup system and uh, should you, you know, some some new users have written to me and saying, well, I worked for a half an hour and something happened and, and I lost all my work, what happened? Well, you have to save that program once in order to be able to start it up the next time. Okay, well, I believe that's it for our first tutorial, uh, getting started with EDIUS 6.0.